And good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holcomb Stadium in Mesa. Todd Garvison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage in the 2013 Desert Classic Session number 2. And we are underway in the championship game of the upper class division. It features the Angels Red against AZ Pro Brockish. And we're underway here as the uh, Angels, the lower seed. They're the visitors here in the championship game. And Connor Woods leads off for them. He's up there with a count of two balls and no strikes. And the next pitch up and in, and it's 3-0. and oh. The Angels here in the uh, championship game after a 10-4 semifinal win over the Huskies. And AZ Pro with the win over Angels Blue in their semifinal game. That one took place out of the auxiliary field here at the Holcomb Complex. And the pitch over for a strike to Woods, and the count 3-1. and one. Dan Beebe starts today for AZ Pro and misses there low for ball four. And Woods is aboard with a leadoff walk. So Connor Woods leads off with a walk. He's on at first, and the batter is Nick Story. The rest of the Angels lineup, Joe Ito will bat third. Tyler Murphy hits fourth. Marcus Salai in the number five spot. The number six hitter is John Souza. Jake Rodriguez hits seventh. Skylar Dush is eighth. Easton Bruce bats ninth. And Tim Cerna, the starting pitcher, bats tenth. First one to Nick Story on the inside corner, a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Now the set and the one strike pitch. It's a fastball and it misses outside. It's 1 and 1. This is the culmination of four days of tournament play as this one started on Friday. Full days yesterday, uh, Saturday and yesterday, and then uh, just a few games to finish up play here this morning. The 1-1 one -one pitch. On the inside corner, a strike, and it's 1-2. Woods with the lead over at first base. Now BB with a set and the pitch. And that's foul to the netting. We stay at a ball and two strikes. The defense for AZ Pro, Trace Morgan is in left field. Matt Waldron in center field. And Anton Miskew is in right. Hunter Nightingale plays third base. Zach Scott is shortstop. Connor Coach, uh, Roshan at uh, second base. And Jeremy Dietrich at first. Connor Markell catching Dan Beebe. Another 1-2 pitch and a breaking ball. Boy, that one didn't miss by much. Called a ball. And it's two and two. Story back in there and ready. Heading from the left side. The 2-2 two -two with a runner going. And the pitch foul back. And we saw this uh, Angels team play in the semifinals today against the Huskies. And Connor Woods got some work done on the bases. He singled to start the ball game. Stole second, stole third, and scored on a wild pitch. So definitely a threat to run over there. Two balls, two strikes on Nick Story. And he takes outside, three and two. See if Woods goes here on the 3-2 count. And we'll see if Abibi throws over to first base first. He does not. The runner doesn't go. And the ball is hit well out to center field. Long run over there. But Waldron there to track it down. And Woods has to hustle back to first base. So story with a fly ball to center field. First down of the ball game. And with one on and one out, the batter is Joe Ito. Throw over to first as we get back to play, and Woods dives back. And 
Woods goes, and the throw down to second base, and he is out. Woods knew it, too. You see him pop up and already head back to the dugout, so it caught stealing as Markell throws out Woods. And that erases the base runner for the Angels. Ito with the ball off the handle, hit into shallow right field, coming in on the run as Miskew makes the catch. And that ends the inning for the Angels in the top of the first inning. No runs, no hits, a walk, but a caught stealing erases the runner. And after a half inning of play, it's the Angels nothing and Easy Pro coming up. Trace Morgan, the leadoff hitter for Easy Pro. In the bottom of the first inning, takes high for ball one. Morgan starts in left field. Hits a ground ball. Out to short. Grab there and a quick throw to first base. And leadoff hitter retired. Connor Woods knew he had to get rid of it in a hurry there, and he sure did. Got the throw over to first, and Morgan is retired to start the bottom of the first. Now Zach Scott, the shortstop. For easy pro, batting second. Matt Waldron hits third. Billy Clemens, an extra hitter, hits fourth. Connor Roshan at second base, hits fifth. Connor Nightingale is sixth. Anton Miskew, seventh. Jeremy Dietrich bats eighth. The number nine hitter is the catcher, Connor Markell. Michael Salazar, in the order as the designated hitter, he bats tenth. Now swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. No balls, two strikes. The set and the pitch. And a hard shot and just past a diving first baseman story, and that's into right field for one out base hit. Zach Scott aboard at first. Now the batter is Matt Waldron. Set the defense for the Angels as Marcus Salaha plays left field. It's Preston Ryan in center field. Jake Rodriguez in right. Murphy and Woods on the left side of the infield. Souza and Story on the right side. And Bruce catching Cerna. As the pitch to Waldron is over for a strike. And the set and the one strike pitch. Just off the outside corner of ball, it's one and one. One on one out, bottom of the first, and a throw to first base, and Scott back standing. And now the ball gets away, and that's going to get the runner to second base as Story and Cerner weren't able to hook up on the throwback to Cerner, the pitcher. The 1-1. One -one. Fly ball hit to left field. Celaya. Oh, and he's called off. I don't know if he was really called off, but uh, was taken away there by the center fielder, Ryan. Ryan makes the catch and then knocks Celaya down. Fortunate to hang on to the ball there, and that's out number two. The ball may have been a touch into left center field, but uh, from where Celaya was playing, he really didn't have to move very much to get to that baseball, and Ryan had to go a long way to get over there and you know, it's uh, from a baseball communication standpoint, center fielder is kind of the captain of the outfield, but he had a, an outfielder kind of standing under a fly ball like that and probably not a need to call him off if you're coming in on the run. Billy Clements now takes a strike. Scott at second with two outs, bottom of the first, and no score. 
And a breaking ball. That's hit the other way. If it's a fair ball, it's trouble. And it is uh, down, and it'll roll to the corner. A run is in as the throw goes towards second base, and it's an RBI double for Billy Clemens. And AZ Pro leads one to nothing. So Clemens delivers a two out base hit, and uh, AZ Pro on the board in the bottom of the first inning. And now they'll look to add to it with a runner at second and two outs. First pitch to Connor Roshan over for a strike. The 0 1. They had a fly ball to center field. Ryan under this one, and he'll make the catch, and that retires the side. Easy Pro gets on the board, though, in the bottom of the first inning. They get a run on two hits. There was one error and one runner left on base after an inning of play. AZ Pro 1 and the Angels nothing. Tyler Murphy leads it off for the Angels in the top of the second inning. Murphy, Celaya, and Sousa for the Angels. Pitch over for a strike. Now the wind of the 1-1. One, one. At the knees, a strike, and it's 1-2. and two. BB with the 1-2 pitch over the outside corner, a cold third strike. And the first out of the inning, first strikeout for Dan BB. And now we'll go after Marcus Salaya. First one misses for ball one. Angels batting at the top of the second inning, trailing one to nothing. Championship game in the underclass, uh, upper class division rather. This is the next one outside, and it's two and zero. Oh. The two zero, oh. and that ball hit well out to left field. Morgan going back, and it's over his head. One hop up to the fence. And a one-out double for Marcus Celaya. And the batter, John Souza. First one to Souza outside for a ball. BB with the set of the 1 0. This is outside again, two balls and no strikes. The set and a 2-0. Well, I want a called strike near the outside corner, and it's 2-1. and one. BB with a look back to second, going to throw it back that way and uh, turn into a close play. Scott Acrobatic leaping over Celaya, going back into second and snapping a tag down all in one motion. Swing and a miss. Now two balls and two strikes. BB with the set. The 2 2 to Souza. And a ground ball. That's pulled foul. First base side. Still 
Two balls, two strikes on Sousa with a runner at second and one out. Angels trailing Easy Pro 1 0. A look back in the pitch. And that's over the outside corner. And a called third strike. That's a pretty good spot if BB can continue to hit that spot with the left handers up there. Now we'll have to go after right handed hitting Jake Rodriguez. First pitch high for ball one. And the next pitch inside, two balls and no strikes. Angels trying to get that runner around from second base. Alaya with a one-out double after a strikeout began the inning. But now Souza with a strikeout. Rodriguez batting with a 2-0 count. And he'll take a strike. It's 2-1. Here's the set, the 2-1 pitch. And that misses for a ball, 3-1. And, and the 3-1 for Beebe. Over the outside corner, a strike, 3-2. with a set and the 3-2. And that's hit well out to right field, but that'll hang up there and uh, catch is made to end the inning. Angels do not score as they get a one-out double and the runner left at second base after an inning and a half. The Angels trail easy pro one to nothing. Connor Nightingale leading off the bottom of the second inning going after the first pitch. And he fouls it off for strike one. And a breaking ball hits sharply out towards second off the glove of Sousa and into center field. Lead off base runner for easy pro in the second inning. And the batter is Anton Miskew. The hard hit ball that got onto a Sousa in a hurry over there. I would think that would go as a base hit. A throw to first and the runner back. Ball picked up on the line and boy, nothing to do with it there for Murphy. And an easy pro. In business with the first two aboard and nobody out. And the batter, Jeremy Dietrich. Yeah, well, the bun on and that uh, ball fouled off. Pitch came inside. Dietrich squared and got a piece of it. I think it fouled off and uh, hit him in the leg. Going to throw it back to second base and the ball on the second base side of the bag. Bunt again, and it's a bunted foul, third base side. Mm -hmm. 
So no balls and two strikes, and uh, we'll see what happens here. We would expect that uh, they'd have to take the bunt sign off for Dietrich. The 0-2. This is high for ball one, one and two. AZ Pro batting in the bottom of the second. They lead the Angels one to nothing. And the set from Cerna and the one two pitch. And that one fouled back Dietrich. Able to get a piece there to keep the at-bat going. And now time called. Ground ball. Flipped a second for the out. The throw on to first base and a double play. Quick discussion with the base umpire, but uh, a 6 4 3 double play. As Nightingale goes to third, but uh, Dietrich bounces into the double play. And now the batter is Connor Markel. And the first pitch outside for ball one. One zero pitch and a fly ball to right field. Rodriguez back a couple of steps now comes in and he's under it to make the catch and that's the final out. Easy Pro had a good start to the inning with the first two aboard, but a double play took care of one of the runners. They leave one and after two they still lead one to nothing. Eight nine and ten in the order and the. Uh, Ball bunted, but bunted foul. Scholar just trying to bunt there. Now the one and the one strike pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's 0-2. One of the two strike pitch. It's outside, one and two. Easton Bruce, Tim Cerna follow for the Angels in the third. And the one two. And a breaking ball, swung on and missed. The strikes out. One away in the inning, and the batter is Easton Bruce. And a breaking ball is outside, ball one. The next one low, two balls and no strikes. Slow roller, Scott charges and throws on to first base. And 
And so that is out number two as uh, Bruce running down the line, I think, uh, got a piece of Dietrich. And so they'll check on him as we play in the third inning. Angels down one nothing. Dietrich okay and stays in the ball game as Tim Cerna is at the plate. And a pitch over for a strike. And it's one and one. Round ball over to the right side. Picked up there and a throw on to first base. And that'll end it. Three up, three down. Third inning for the Angels Red Squad. And after two and a half, they're still down one to nothing. And one and two in the order for Angie Pro in the third as Michael Salazar takes strike one from Tim Cerna. Breaking ball over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Cerna ready, and the 0-2 pitch. One missed uh, maybe a little bit out, maybe a little bit low, 1-2. Ball fouled off at the plate. Still a ball on two strikes. Cerna finished up the semifinal game. He threw one inning against the Huskies. And now he's out here in his third inning of work in the second game. The 1 2. Inside corner, a cold third strike. Salazar didn't like it, but he'll head back to the dugout and strike out victim to begin the third. And that's the first strikeout of the game for Tim Cerna as we go back to the top of the order for Trace Morgan. Morgan grounded out his first time up. It's a ball hard back up the middle, and that's into center field. So a base hit for Morgan, and he's on it first with one out for Zach Scott. Scott with a base hit his first time up. Score the only run of the ball game to this point. Runner takes off to throw over uh, or a, a strike and then down to second base. And safe at second is Morgan. Well, a brief discussion uh, with a base umpire. Of course, that uh, call does not change, and the pitch to Scott is low for a ball one and one. So runner in scoring position with one out in the bottom of the third inning. AZ Pro leading one to nothing. The set from Cerna and the 1-1 one -one pitch. And that's outside. Two balls and a strike. Look back to second again and the 2 1. And that's fouled out of play, third base side, 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. And a ground ball over on the right side, charging is Sousa onto first base. And that's in time as a ground out off the bat of Zach Scott for the second out of the inning. 4-3 on the play as Morgan goes to third base. And the batter is Matt Waldron. Waldron with a 
fly ball to center field his first time up. Takes strike one. The 0 1 pitch. A little bit high, 1 and 1. And the 1-1 one, one pitch bounced in there and blocked by Bruce to save a run. It's 2-1. and one. Yeah, Cerner with a 2-1 pitch. Popped up. And uh, I'm going to get a chance to get to it there as... Again, Bruce not able to find that pop-up. Cerna came charging off the mound, but he couldn't get to it. And they count two and two. Runner at third with two outs, two and two on Waldron. Pirate only had two balls and one strike. So they get it squared away. It is two and two. Yeah, the next one a little bit high. Cerna thought he had strike three as he was coming off the mound, headed toward the dugout. Billy Clemens waits in the on deck circle for easy pro. And a three two. And a ground ball foul. Championship game in the upper class division. 2013 Desert Classic Session 2. And now a balk is called and that'll bring in run number two as Morgan will come in to score. Now time called again. We're going to get another quick conference here as Angels wanted to find out uh, what happened there and why the block was called. So that brings the run in. Easy Pro goes up 2 nothing now in the bottom of the third. And Waldron bats with the base is empty. And time called again. And we're going to get a little longer discussion, conversation here. Doug Peterson, the head coach for Angels Red. He's out to talk to the first base umpire. And we'll let them... Uh, Finish up their discussion here as we play in the bottom of the third. 2-0 AZ Pro with the lead. So back to it here in a 3-2 pitch. We'll miss low for ball four and Waldron walks. And the batter will be Billy Clemens. The discussion continued for a couple of minutes. But again, uh, yeah, nothing really came of it. I don't think uh, Coach Peterson got the explanation he was hoping for as the pitch is over for a strike. Yeah, the set and a throw to first and the runner back. One strike pitch. 
That's inside, and it's one and one. Two outs and a runner at first to run in for AZ Pro in the third. They lead the Angels two to nothing. The one one. And what's fouled off, and it's a ball and two strikes. Set and uh, the guest right this time as a runner takes off. The throw down and out the call at second base. So Waldron out uh, on a caught stealing, and that ends the inning. AZ Pro gets another run, and they lead 2 nothing. Top of the order in the fourth, Connor Woods leads off and going after the first one. Soft pop-up. And that's caught by the second baseman. Sean with the catch. And there's one out in the fourth. Now the batter is Nick Story. Dan Beebe's faced just one over the minimum through the first three and a third. Story shortens the bunt, and it's over for a strike. He gave up a leadoff walk in the first inning, but the runner erased on a caught stealing. And there's a fly ball. That's hit well out to right field, but uh, going back, stay back there to make the catch. And that's out number two, three pitches and two outs here in the fourth inning. And the batter is Joe Ito. And then in the uh, second inning for Beebe, gave up a one out double, that runner left at second base and then had a three up, three down third. So just one over the minimum. And he's allowed just two base runners. And the first one to Ito misses for ball one. The next one bounced in there, two balls and no strikes. And a 2-0 pitch, foul back out of play, and it's 2-1. and one. Now the one of the 2-1 pitch. Low for ball three, three and one. Tyler Murphy in the on deck circle for the Angels as they trail two nothing, batting in the top of the fourth. And the three one. And a hard hit ball, a one hopper out to the uh, second baseman, or Sean on to first base. And the inning is over, another three up, three down inning, and the midpoint of the ball game, the Angels trailing AZ Pro by a score of two to nothing. And we begin the bottom of the fourth inning. Billy Clemens leads off and takes ball one. The one oh pitch inside and low, two and oh. Clemens was at the plate when Waldron was caught stealing to end the third, so he gets a fresh count to start the bottom of the fourth inning. And the 2-0 pitch, outer half of the plate is strike, and it's 2-1. and one. And the 2-1 pitch. Over for a strike, two and two. Two nothing, our score, bottom of the fourth inning. The two two pitch. 
And that's fouled off right side out of play. Pitch up and in, ball three, three and two. And the ball hit well out to center field. But playable out there and a catch made for round number one. One down to the bottom of the fourth inning. The batter, Connor Rochon, who hit a fly ball to center field to end the first. And the first pitch over for strike one. Over the outside corner, 0-2 the count. And the two-strike pitch. And the ground ball over to first. That got on to Story in a hurry, but he makes the play and taps the bag at first, and there's two down. And bring up Connor Nightingale, who singled his first time up. Gale with a ground ball over to the second baseman, Sousa, on to Story. And it's a quiet 1-2-3 inning for AZ Pro in the fourth, their first 1-2-3 inning of the ball game. And after four innings of play, they still lead by a score of 2 to nothing. We begin the fifth inning, and the first pitch to Tyler Murphy up and in, ball one. Just about got him on the sleeve there, it looked like. And the 1-0. Off the handle, popped up. Going back, the second baseman, Roshan, with the catch, and that's out number one. Now Marcus Celaya for the Angels Rat Ball Club. He's got the only hit of the game for the Angels. A one-out double back in the second. And going after the first one, fouls it out of play. The 0 1 pitch. Low for a ball, 1 and 1. Two runs, five hits, no errors for AZ Pro. No runs, one hit, one error for the Angels. And there's a shot into left field, and there's another base hit for Marcus Salai. He's got to be looking to the rest of his team saying, uh, Come on, guys. <laughs> He's kind of figured out here a double and a single and two at-bats, but it's the only two hits of the game so far for the Angels. And now a pinch hitter as uh, Sousa is called back and instead Adam Wolf will bat. So Wolf at the plate with one on and one out in the top of the fifth. Good thing about it, at least from the Angels' perspective, is uh, you know, they've only got two base hits, but uh, they've only allowed two runs. And so, uh, just like that, tying runs at the plate here in the fifth. Going to throw it over to first, close over there, but Celia gets back. First one to Wolf misses for ball one. And Markell is out to talk to BB. Yeah, 
pitch to Wolf inside. Two balls and no strikes. And now the 2 0 and a half swing there. And a miss for Wolf. Two and one the count. So Lyle with that base hit, broke up a string of 10 in a row, retired by Dan Beebe. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. One outside, three and two. I think I said ten in a row. It was actually a string of nine in a row retired for BB. Got the final two outs in the second. Three up, three down in the third, and again in the fourth. And then the leadoff hitter in the fifth. BB steps off. See what the Angels do here. Down two runs in the top of the fifth inning. Three and two count with one out. Will they send Celia from first base? Here's the set. BB holds an extra tick there, and a pitch on the inside corner. A cold third strike as Celia did not go. And Wolf is out on strike, second out of the inning. And another pinch hitter. As Nola Tarasano is at the plate. First pitch, foul back. Into the seats on the first base side for strike one. Runner at first base and two outs at the top of the fifth. Angels down 2-0. This is the championship game in the upper class division of the 2013 Desert Classic, session number two. The one strike pitch. And that misses for a ball. It's one and one. And the 1-1 bounced in there. Markell with a nice play there to keep that ball from going to the backstop and to pick it up on a short hop. And now time called. Gale back behind the plate, ready to go again with a 2-1 pitch from BB. And this has popped up right side of the infield. And another pop out to the second baseman. Roshan makes the catch. And the inning is over. No runs. A hit and one left. After four and a half, Angels still down 2-0. Seven, eight, and nine in the order. Four easy pro on the bottom of the fifth. And then miscue with a swing and a miss for a strike. And another swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Jeremy Dietrich, Connor Markell follow for easy pro in the fifth. No balls, two strikes. He reached his last time up. And Cerner with an 0-2. Bounced it in there for a ball, one and two. And that pitch over for a cold third strike. And 
And that's the first down of the fifth inning. I think Miss Hugh headed back to the dugout thinking the pitch might have been up a bit. Now Jeremy Dietrich, the first baseman, he bounced into a double play his first time up. First pitch over, but low, ball one. The 1 0 -oh pitch fouled off. And it's one and one. Easy Pro with a run in the first inning and a run in the third, and that's been it for both sides. 2 0 our score in the bottom of the fifth. And a swing and a miss. And it's one and two. The one two pitch. The ball fouled off the netting, and we stay at one and two. Serna with the pitch. That's bounced in there. Two balls, two strikes. And Serna now with a 2 2 pitch. And a one hopper fielded by Woods. And he'll throw it on to first base in time. Two away. Connor Markell, the catcher for Easy Pro. He bats with two outs and the base is empty. And going after the first one, ball fouled back. Yell at a fly ball to Rodriguez to end the second inning. And the 0-1 is inside. One ball and one strike. Now the 1-1. Outside, two balls and a strike. Cerna ready in the 2-1. And that ball out to left field, and that'll fall in front of the left fielder, a base hit. I think that's John Nunnally in there as the new left fielder. Brandon Wildman comes on as a courtesy runner for the catcher, Mark Kelly. were teammates at Mesa Red Mountain. Wildman goes, pitch a strike, the throw to second base, not in time. So Salazar at the plate takes a strike, and Wildman gets into a scoring position at second base. Now the set of the 0-1. Ground ball over to the right side. Oh, and they throw wide, and that's going to get away, and that'll get a run in. And a routine ground ball that should have ended the inning, and the throw wide of the bag at first. And AZ Pro gets another run. And it's an E4. I think it's Adam Wolf 
now out there at second base. An easy pro to run here in the bottom of the fifth inning. They lead now 3 nothing, And the batter is Trace Morgan. And Morgan takes a breaking ball for a strike. The set, the throw goes to first, and Salas are back. Morgan to ground out in the first, a single, a steal, and a run in the third. Swing and a miss, and it's 0 and 2. Second error of the ball game for. The Angels and a big one here as it brings in another run for AZ Pro. Another throw to first and again the runner back. And a ground ball out towards second. Wolf bobbles this one, now has to throw quickly, and uh, not going to be in time at first base. And another E4. Two aboard with two outs for Zach Scott. Scott with a single in the first and a ground out in the third. And pitch over the outside corner, strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Sent uh, into shallow left field. And Nunnally over there to make the catch. And that ends the inning for AZ Pro. In the fifth, they add another run, and through five innings of play, they lead three to nothing. A swing and a miss to begin the top of the sixth inning. And a new hitter up there. Preston Ryan batting for the first time in this one. And one ball and one strike. The one one pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's one and two. Off the handle, popped up, and that's behind the first base dugout and out of play. Angels running out of outs here as they bat in the top of the sixth inning down 3 nothing. The 1 2. At the knee, strike three called. Another new hitter, Brian Leitz bats. He caught the bottom of the fifth inning, and now he's hitting here in the sixth. And Leitz with a ground ball, grabbed by Nightingale, and on to first base in time. A 5-3 ground out, and there's two away. Tim Cerna, who grounded out to in the third inning. And a 
Fastball from Dan Beebe high for ball one. Both teams with bullpen activity as they're sharing the same bullpen. Out past the fence in right field. There's a fastball over for a strike, and it's one and one. It's Tyler Murphy getting loose for the Angels. Pitch is high, and it's two and one. And it might be Billy Clemens throwing for Easy Pro. Two and one to count on Tim Cerna. Two outs, bases empty in the top of the sixth in the pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's two and two. Two-two pitch. Serna fouls it to the netting. Still two balls, two strikes. If Serna can reach, we'll turn the order over. Connor Woods awaits in the on deck circle. And the two-two. And a swing and a miss. Serna strikes out. And that ends the sixth inning for the Angels. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Angels still trail Easy Pro by a score of three to nothing. Matt Waldron going after the first pitch and hits a ground ball over to second base. Picked up there and a throw on to first. One pitch and one out. As Wolf gets another chance out there at second base. A new pitcher out there for the Angels as Tyler Murphy is on to pitch the sixth. Now Billy Clemens. And Clemens takes strike one. Ball off the handle, fouled off, and it's 0-2. Tim Cerna goes five innings then for the Angels, allows six hits, three runs, two earned, one walk, one strikeout. Through 76 pitches in five innings, plus the 20 he threw in the fifth inning of the uh, semifinal game. And that ball hit uh, just past the shortstop Woods. And into left field, and it's a base hit for Billy Clemens. Now one on and one out for Connor Roshan, the second baseman. First pitch fouled straight back for a strike. Rashawn with a fly ball to center field in the first and a ground out to the first baseman story in the fourth. Pitch outside for a ball. It's one and one. Three nothing AZ Pro batting at the bottom of the sixth inning. Trying to add a little more insurance before we get to the seventh when the Angels will send up the top of the order. The 1-1 one -one is outside. Two balls and a strike. Set on the 2 1 pitch. And that's fouled off. And the count 2 and 2. The 
set. The 2-2 pitch. And a fly ball into shallow left. It's uh, Woods, the shortstop, though, going back. And he makes a nice over-the-shoulder catch for out number two. Clemens has to stay at first base, and the batter will be Connor Nightingale. And the first one to Nightingale, high for a ball. And the 1-0 pitch, foul back, and it's 1-1. One and one. As I mentioned, we look ahead to the Angels' seventh inning. It is the top of the order. Woods, Story, and Ito scheduled a hit for the Angels. The 1-1. One, one. And that's fouled back. It's 1-2. and two. Murphy with a set of the 1-2 pinch. And that's hit to left field, and it's uh, on the run. Not only over there to make the catch, and that ends the sixth inning for AZ Pro. We'll head to the seventh, AZ Pro three, and the Angels nothing. Connor Woods in to lead it off in the seventh. Showing bunt takes inside for ball one. Dan Beebe out there to try to finish it up for Easy Pro. He's got six innings, two hits shut out to this point. One walk and six strikeouts. That was pitch number 80. Here's 81 on the way. And that's low for a ball, 2-0. and oh. Maybe to the line of the 2-0 pitch. Over for a strike. And it's 2-1. and one. And the 2-1 pitch. Over the outside corner, a strike 2-2. Two and two. Josh Moore in the on-deck circle, he actually took over for Nick Story at first base a couple of innings ago, and so he'll bat second, and then Joe Ito third in the inning. A 2-2 pinch, and it's fouled off of the plate. Angels need some base runners here, and well, they've struggled with that the uh, entire ball game. They had a leadoff walk to start the ball game. This was uh, when Woods let off back in the first. But he was caught stealing. They had a one-out double in the second. That runner left at second base. Up and down in order in the third and the fourth. A one-out single in the fifth. Runner left there. And then up and down in the sixth. There's that pitch. Borderline just missed. Three and two the count on Connor Woods. BB to the wind in the pitch. And a ground ball over to third. Nightingale there on to first base and in time. So leadoff hitter retired in the seventh inning. One out for Josh Moore, who bats for the first time in this ball game. Moore started in the semifinal game, had a walk and a sacrifice fly. But again, batting for the first time in the championship game. First pitch, foul back. No balls in a strike on Moore. And a swing and a miss. B 
BB to the one and the O2. That's bounced in. It got a piece of the plate umpire, and they count a ball on two strikes. More back in there and ready now. As BB winds in the one two pitch. Fastball misses outside, two and two. Joey to win the on deck circle for the Angels. Now to the wind of the 2 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. More strikes out. Second out of the inning, strikeout number seven for Dan Beebe. And the Angels down to their final out in the seventh inning. The batter is Joe Ito. Ito with a fly out in the first and a ground out in the fourth. And the first one misses low and outside. Goes to the backstop, ball one. And the wind in the 1-0. That's over for a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. If Ito can reach, Tyler Murphy will bat for the Angels in the seventh. And the 1-1. One, one. That's over for a strike, and it's 1-2. and two. And the 1-2 pitch. Punched out into right field. And uh, the Angels still alive here as Ito... As a hit, just the third of the ball game for the Angels red team. It's a two-out single. It keeps the game going, and the batter will be Tyler Murphy. Murphy in there and ready. Going after the first one, yanks it foul down the left field side. And that's strike one. Eby with a one strike pitch. And a breaking ball, that's outside. It's one and one. You know, with the lead at first base. And the one one. And a swing and a miss. And it's a ball and two strikes. John Nunley in the on deck circle. For the Angels. And BB is 1 2. Just missed. Two balls and two strikes. Tying run in the on deck circle for the Angels. Just three hits in the ball game. The 2 2. And that's fouled back into the seats. And we stay two balls and two strikes. Baby with a set and a 2 2. And that misses for a ball, 3 and 2. So he don't get a chance to take off here. Dietrich will play behind him over at first base. And the 3-2 pitch. And a line drive, and that gets into left field, a base hit. And the Angels will get the tying run to the plate here in the, bottom of the top of the seventh inning, rather, as they trail 3-0.
And going after the first pitch, Nunnally hits a fly ball into center field and a sliding catch in center for Waldron. And that ends the ball game. That had a chance to get down, and uh, Waldron made a nice play charging in there to pick that up and make the catch. And that ends the ball game as the Angels get a couple of base hit and hits in the seventh inning, but they leave both aboard and they fall to AZ Pro by a final score of three to nothing. Totals on the ball game for the Angels: no runs, four hits, three errors, and four left for AZ Pro. Three runs, six hits, no errors, and four runners left on base. Dan Beebe gets the win, a complete game shutout. As he goes uh, all seven, gives up four hits and eight, make it uh, seven strikeouts and just one walk in the ball game. That was to the first hitter of the game. And a great pitching performance there as Tim Cerna takes the loss for the Angels. AZ Pro then, coached by uh, Coach Theron Brockish, the champions in the upper class division in the 2013 Desert Classic Session number two as they beat the Angels Red Ball Club by a final score of three to nothing. So that will do it. Again, our final, it's the Easy Pro Brockish Club three and the Angels Red nothing from Holcomb Stadium in Mesa. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. And congratulations once again to the champions in the upper class division in the 2013 Desert Classic session number two. It's Easy Pro Brockish. <laughs>